We're back on Cambridge Inside Out. I'm Robert Winters. Judy Nathans. And today is February 19th, 2019. Yes. You know, and, uh, and we probably should say, say right off the bat the reason why we missed last week. We weren't intended to mm. um, miss last week, but right. there was a fire on... Um, well, there was a fire in Cambridge Port. In Cambridge Happened Port. to be the building to live in. <laughs> right. So, um, so I... I and, and that was on Monday, so Monday, right? So uh, it would have been needless kind of to say not the best thing to kind no. of run in and do TV shows on on Tuesday. No, in light of and the I just I don't want to talk a lot about it, but um, I just want to thank before I get emotionally at the Cambridge Fire Department, um, especially Stacia Joyce, Emergency Management Brian. I'm sorry, I don't have your last name in front of me. Who were concerned about me because I was clearly older than most of the other residents <laughs> right. in the buildings, and. Uh, we're very yeah. lucky, actually, to have the Cambridge Fire Department, and yes. we, we do, because they're actually respected around the state. I knew people who work for the Massachusetts Port they Authority. They are stellar. Who, who Paul just, Burke, okay, right there. Yep. You know, glowingly of yeah. the Cambridge Fire Department. So. Yes, they, um, they, they took pictures down in my dining room and put them in the drawers. They covered my um, boarder's laptop. They closed it and put a blanket they did, on it. They, did a, they do what they can because they know they go it, above it, and beyond. Fortunately, yeah. it wasn't fire in the units. It was the it was the water using to take out the fire. Yeah. But um, so yeah, I I and I everybody's okay. Out, yeah, and everybody's yeah. okay. Everyone got out thing. and thank you to the neighbor who uh, I banged will one the of these days who banged down the doors because um, it was coming out of the top of the chimney. So that's right. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you know, and it, you know. Your word to the wise in a situation like this, smoke detectors Don't pick up oh, smoke within a unit, exactly, but if something's but within a wall, it, it was it may in the crawl space above my yeah. third floor bedroom yeah. and bathroom. Yeah. 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 So, 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 yes, you just, I don't know what to say. We were very fortunate. It happened in the morning, not in the middle of the night. It happened when we all, everybody was there and got out. Everyone's fine. Well, I shouldn't say fine. It's People disruptive. Place. It's very disruptive. Yes. yes. I was there the longest, 30 years. That's yeah. a long time. That's <laughs> a long time. Yeah. Fortunately, yeah. I'm related to the owner. Well, not related, but you know what I mean. Yep. Oh yeah. 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 So yeah. It's, so. it's it's all okay right now. So it's we all get down. we all get through here. So let's talk about important things. <laughs> let's talk about important trees. things. Trees. Um, uh, actually, no trees burned. That's that's true. Now, see, <laughs> no trees burned. No ashes or embers. So that's good. Yeah. Not I, that I, we have that many right there, but. You know, not that there's a whole lot we can say about it here, but the thing is, is that mm. something I, I think we would be um, oh, that, remiss yes. if we didn't really. mention. It was um, a bad week. There was a fire so the a next really day. Really bad, somewhere. bad yeah, week. Really bad. All right. Week. You know, so uh, mm. a Cambridge resident, uh, Paula Shiraga, uh, was the cyclist who was killed yeah. uh, at the around the intersection of Park Bur Drive, Park and, Drive uh, Brookline and Brookline, Brookline Ave. Ave. Very um, bad intersection for anybody. Always car, has yeah. been. Yes. Uh, you know, and. And you know, uh, tragedies happen, but it's especially telling when it's people you know. Yep. So this is a person who I knew, uh, who was actually amongst many of the people who were in the kind of what you might call activists, especially environmental activism. A lot of people knew Paula. Um, and for me, she was a person who I know from a friends. We often go to a common friends house. Yeah, I mean, for I know I've probably seen her for at, at at Helen's swaps. Yeah, and and, and, yeah. and she and her husband Eric yeah. were um, were. Some of the people who are, you know, very sort of strong advocates, strong position, whatever, but didn't but make you feel like you, you were didn't right. feel yeah. you could disagree. It mm -hmm. Didn't matter, you know. It's if if all act, the activist world could be like Paul Chirago, we'd mm -hmm. all be a better world. But anyway, so um, so she died in this accident, and it was oh, um, terrible. You know, it's sort of frightening it to me. It was during how, the day, right? Yes, it was like one twenty in the afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, the woman who was killed at, on Putnam Ave a few years ago was Marcia Deal, I knew as well. Yes. She was a pedestrian killed in Porter Square, Marcy Mittler, friend of Renee's. That's I've who met I was trying to think as of. Well. Renee, yeah. yeah, so, you know, it's. it's well, you went around long enough, you know. It's, you get to know people, yeah, and, and it's, they were not, older. it's not just some abstraction, Except, it's not mm -hmm. some faraway TV broadcast. It's real, it's people you know. Do we know anything about the. Um, I mean, they. 
cement truck was mentioned. But, yeah. Uh, so the cement truck was stopped, right? Um, the, my understanding yeah. was it was the light had turned green, mm -hmm. truck started moving, the intersection wasn't clear, and we'll just have to just leave it to the authorities yeah. to determine okay. fault. Um, one thing I, you know, for those who are affected by this that is worth knowing um, uh, is that I believe it's this, yeah, it's this coming Sunday, oh. February 24th. I think that's, did I get that uh, right? Uh, There's 24th is, a, is yeah. no, I think it's a Saturday, no? No, no, you're right. It's a yeah. Sunday. But mm -hmm. the thing is, is that there's a tradition when there are tragedies involving cyclists where they put up what they call ghost bikes or these oh, white right. bikes. There's one at so the they'll Whole be doing Foods. that this week, and I think it's like in between two and four in the afternoon. I do have it oh. written down here somewhere. If I okay. if I well, better sure discover it, I'll mention it. Or, uh, yeah. yeah, but um, you know, it's a uh, <sighs> might might be worth your while. So yeah, there's one at Porter Square for um, for uh, Joe Lavins. Joe Lavin, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's a it's a it's a large and complicated discussion. Right. Uh, I mean, you know, God bless her. She's, I think, 69 or 69, yeah, and she yeah. bikes. You know, yeah. she's a biker, but I I would never bike around there, yeah. ever. I just, you know, um, the, I see a truck, I freeze. Yeah. You know? The one, the one, uh, the one thing I, I, you know, not to go on too much about yeah. it, but intersection is really where mm. the most dangers are that's where the interactions with other vehicles and you know there's happen. five streets turning, that are coming yeah, into that crossing traffic yeah. turning traffic it's really about the intersections it's, that's exactly where this happened yeah in fact in most of the the incident the tragedies that they've we've had where streets are meeting intersections it. that's and, a good point yeah. you know and i think the city and advocates do a lot trying to change things along roadways but the thing is is that there's just so much you, can you know do. Uh, even for those who are diehard believers in, pr you know, protected infrastructure, yeah. um, there's Still have only to so much. Cross. You can't put yeah. flex posts in the middle of yeah. an intersection. Right. You can't put barriers in the middle of intersections. So, it's still sort of out in the open. And until we sort of find ways through better cycle, um, uh, light cycles. Trucks. Well, um, also, and you know, better sight lines phases, on trucks. Better sight lines um, on trucks, especially moving trucks and yeah. side guard, all that yeah. stuff. Which yeah. I, yeah. uh, you know, sometimes it's as, it's as simple as the, the thing is the, the width of the road or mm -hmm. the timing of the signals that right. are the problem. Yes. I mean, I, who, is, who has not been out in the middle of an intersection when a light changed? Mm -hmm. Now, in, in oh, yeah. principle, even if a light changes when you're in an intersection, vehicles are not supposed to proceed until the intersection is cleared. But you know it's just not how it often well, works. Well, there are some intersections around Harvard where you have a walk light. But they also have, right. I turn that all the time, by yeah. Sanders. Yeah. So you do have to pay attention to yeah. pedestrians, even though yeah. you can still go. Yeah. Right. But, you know, we're, in a, we're a very impatient world. And, yep. um, Too many people just say, oh, they just see the light turn green, yeah. they go. Right. Or just like I was but. telling you the other day, just, to, <coughs> you know, when I was walking here, you know, she just went right against the light while she's on her phone. And, right. and, and the car, you know, was had the right yeah. of way, and it's just... You know, if there's any one yeah. wish yeah. I could have for, you know, not, not specific about right. infrastructure, it's just, just that... Pay attention. But we should also, we, we just need to have systems in place yeah. so that somebody making an error, driver, mm -hmm. cyclist, pedestrian, I'm not talking, mm -hmm. I'm not specific about any right. of this, is, right. is that a little mistake, mm -hmm. uh, you shouldn't be deadly, you right. know? You right. know, like I, I worry about that when I see um, people on on sidewalks and then mm -hmm. cars whipping by yeah. four feet away. You know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know the thing is, if somebody just decided because they were joking around with their friend and somebody yeah. went ha ha, yeah. stepped into the road, it could be deadly. Right. You know, and until right. we kind of make things a little safer, sort of generically that way. I think way, you just have to be have super to be, vigilant. You cross. I mean, as a pedestrian and my daughter who's younger, you know. You're trying to cross at night. You look at the driver coming into you yeah, and make sure they see you. Yeah. You know? And no, I, I and I do, I do like it. those light the, the crosswalks that light up. I think we're going to yeah. get more of those because yeah, that's hard. Uh, you know, yeah. it's to say to people, it's cold consolation to be able to right. say you were in the right. No. You know, the thing no, is, no, is that no. it's more important no. just to protect right. yourself in every way. Even if and they're wrong, is, you still could be right. alive if you just yeah. pay so, attention. Yeah. yeah. And, know. Uh, you know, always just don't assume anybody's going to no. do right because you right. can't count on it. And it, the consequences are That's just right. too great. People are so. on their phones in the cars. you got Lyft drivers, Uber drivers. You're stopping everywhere. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Don't get me started. All right. So anyway, so that, so you know, that was figured, sad. That, that was, was very that sad. was 
pretty harsh. She knew. You yeah, know, no, I knew. Yeah, I knew yeah. them. You know. Um, so um, oh. yeah. Anyway, the way it goes. Um, let me just sort of switch. I'm going to just say this is very, very short. Um, you know, as There's nothing the, short with you, Rob. That's that's kind of true. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it is a municipal election year. I just want to say that. Oh. that now I'm looking at this is actually really fast. Okay. So already people are sort of putting things together. I know that the ABC group is yes. now sort of has like a political arm, but come on, let's face it, it's the same organization. A better Cambridge? Yeah, a okay. better Cambridge, right? And I just because of where I work at MIT. Mm -hmm. What's that? I think there's another candidate that's going to be coming here. Oh, get, uh oh. So I get, I get rumors, right? So we do have, I'm just going to mention, his name is uh, Burhan Azim, and he's been involved in a few things. I, I saw his name oh, as uh, participating in some um, city council oh, he's hearings and whatever. Cambridge. So anyway, some people oh, I know who live down around here says, like, oh yeah, he's thinking of running for city council this year. Why doesn't he run for president and join I, the rest of the 20? So the he's, he's, he'll be, I believe he'll be, uh, oh dear, he'll be 22. <laughs> if he oh, runs, yes. it's not a guarantee. But uh, the oh, thing okay. is, is get uh, his name out there. Well, it was kind of funny because I, I, Ooh. I said I asked the person who was telling me about. It. I said, mm -hmm. "Well, what do you know about? It? Tell tell me about." It. Well, he believes in this, and I go, "Oh, okay. I'll tell you who his friends are." Oh, I I already know yeah, his friends. Because I could tell you, say, yeah. "Well, he knows mm -hmm. this person, this person here." Because yeah. the thing is, is that there's certain kind of political orientations that people will have, and you sort of yeah. know who they're hanging out with, you know. And, and sure enough, it was true. <laughs> So. so where on the spectrum would you kind of pinpoint him politically, you know, or I've, a person like that? I shouldn't just point to him. He, but you know, it's it's he's... it's funny when we when we head into municipal election yeah. years. I never really honestly know what like sort of the defining issues are going to be because mm. it's not always circumstance that drives them. It's actually people for certain issues and say these will be the issues this year. Yeah, but so, there are issues already. That right. People are okay. So there are some people who will around. always make. Well, some years ago it was like commercial development was like the big issue. Hmm. Uh, you know, well, now still, it's, but now it's like, are you in favor of more density, less density? Tree canopy. You know? Trees um, are becoming an emergent issue for the year. Affordable housing. Uh, yeah. Two years ago, certainly the bike lobby became kind of like. That, the, that's going to be constant. Press the, the bike. They press the issue. Yeah. yeah. So I don't honestly know what sort of mm. the dominant themes are going to be as we go into this, oh. but I can already see people starting to take sides, you know. Yeah. So whether you, you, you know, depending on your perspective about housing and affordability of housing, mm -hmm. uh, and I wish people would exhibit a little, more, a little more nuance in understanding the big picture rather than say, I believe in affordable housing. Yeah, everybody believes but, in but affordable housing. But look at what, first of all, Cambridge what does, does well. I think we do have a lot of affordable yeah, housing yeah. units. We have, you know, yeah. some more than some yeah. other places, but um, still. Right. So, um, yeah. you know, so we'll see whether it turns into the NIMBYs versus the YIMBYs or the tree people versus the woodsmen. I don't know how it's going to really shape up, but, you know, and it's only February. But the thing is, is there's already people are doing fundraisers. So, so and you follow the money, too, don't you? A little bit? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep track of it. Right. So far, there's I mean, anybody can follow the money, but you're yeah, yeah. You know no, I, I check out the Office of Campaign Political mm -hmm. Finance and just sort of see what's up. And I, I'm sort of dedicating myself to not be doing it every day. Good, good. Because I don't want to go lose my mind. No. But, I, but I'm going to sort of at least once a month do updates of a table. We'll basically show you know, okay. who's raising money Great. and whatever. It's actually the biggest teller of uh, who's really interested, interested in, in really being a candidate a again. Yeah. yeah. Well, some, some of the candidates, some of the incumbents already have a little bit in their in their accounts. Oh, yeah, so some have, have a spend. pile of money. A pile of money, right. Yeah, you know, and I mean, I'm not going to go into all the names no, here right no, now. No, but, not now. But I'll just say there's some who actually, you know, did not spend the last right. year raising or spending uh, money. They just said, they well, we'll, we'll do that when the election comes. Right. I say, good for them. Exactly. Right? Then there are others who are raising enormous amounts of money year round. So it's interesting to watch it shape up. So. so since we we're not here last week there was a city council meeting on the 11th 11th right, right. um and then um there was the tree ordinance meeting so let's maybe backtrack yeah to so what, sort of a, do a little yeah. bit of that so certainly on the meeting of the 11th which um, you were at i was at i, I watched it whole meeting. that night even though it was the night i was at my daughter's house i, I put it on just i figured that's good background i don't maybe you know but then i did re-watch it a few nights later to pay more attention to some parts you had told me about yeah. so yeah um, you know, one of the things that, um, that keeps me coming back, 
Yeah. Honestly, other than the friendship, because I honestly, part of the reason you go up to City Hall on a Monday night, mm -hmm. at least for me, is because oh, I know a lot of the people. Yeah. yeah. And it's like it's like going out. Yeah. It's like bowling night for me. It's like you go out and you hang out with your friends. Yeah. So I get I get something out of that. So it's not. But you're hanging out in the hallway there. Um, sometimes in, yeah. I'm inside, Some, and sometimes I'm yeah, out in the hallway. Yeah, you can't talk too much yeah. inside. Yeah, that's right. So that's why you, sometimes you're right. outside, so Shouldn't you can chat with people. Yeah. Right, uh, you know, so, and, and really some of my best long-term friends actually are people who are civically engaged, so I see them there. Mm -hmm. um, and actually I know a lot of people who work in city departments, so, you know, we get to chat with them as well. Right. It's always so interesting. Just notice that's not on the computer, not that we need, it. oh, it's over here. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> right. Um, but um, the, uh, uh, one of the things that I really, really enjoy about mm -hmm. the whole process is sometimes there's, you know, there's an incident that usually triggers something, like for example, there was that flood, flooding oh, caused by the that was, water main break in Right, Craven and that's Street. been every week. Every city council meeting's had uh, uh, some of the people from, there. from yes. Mercer Circle uh, are 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 coming up. You know, in this same. That was on the agenda on the city manager's agenda, yeah. right? A response so, to it. Right. So right. there was an inquiry about mm -hmm. um, basically about the age and how are the pipes maintained. Right. How is the city's infrastructure? And I'm a Right. I used to say I'm an E and I guy, environment yeah. and infrastructure, because mm -hmm. I kind of I put the two together. I always right. have sewers and yeah, stuff. yeah, you know, and um, and for me, whenever there's a, a something like this, it's actually an opportunity for people from the water department or other city departments to sort of come back and provide information I may or may not know. Is that a water main? Is that is that a guy? I thought that was a Lego character. I swear. That. <laughs> if, if you could get that, that looks um, just like it. Yeah. All right. So let's, let's see if I could show you here. All so, right. So the, Jeez. Look all at right. That. So, so this is an image that actually has nothing to do with something recently. This was, but this is but, the. But the side. I th I swear I thought it was a Lego. Yeah. This but is this was person. a thirty inch main. Oh my goodness. Um, actually, I think if. Uh, is that what's leaking right here? Click, or click on that. I forget yeah. if it blows we'll, up or we'll not. Or go bigger. I'm not no, sure if we'll, nope, no, we'll, okay, no, so we'll just get rid of that, okay. All right, but anyway, but, yeah. But anyway, the, the, uh, um, the idea was, I think you just close that window, we'll be fine. Okay, there yeah. you go. Okay, so that was actually a, uh, the water main that runs down the length of Broadway, oh my, my goodness. street, and there was a time there was a, you know, a leaky street, and it was a pretty serious, but it didn't turn into like a real gusher. Right. But it was pretty obvious it was a problem, so they had to Jeez. open it up. Jeez. And they they have what they do sort of typically oh. is they actually come in with a big section of 30 inch pipes, mm -hmm. thick like inch and a quarter thick um, steel. This looks uh, bigger than thin. 30 inches. You sure it's just 30? Because look at this guy. Right. Yeah. No, I think the I diameter was about. Are, all right. Yeah. Okay. And and what they do is they actually cut out a section. And they, they, they put in a new section with the appropriate collars to sort of make a joint. And they always put in, a, they try to put in valves because the more places they can shut off. Individually rather yeah, than shutting then off you can, the whole thing. Then you can sure. isolate it because the way, yeah. Um, yeah. The way it works uh, mm -hmm. in the city is that it's not, water infrastructure like electrical infrastructure, it's not all like a tree and roots where it goes, it splits, and it divides up. That would not be great because then that everything would. Get well, if there was a break in one place here, it just shuts things off. That's what so I'm saying. So what it yeah. is, it's more like a network. Right. So that what you do is you can have an entire street that you can isolate. Good. And then the water can come actually from the other direction. It also causes a lot of sediment to get disrupted when that happens. Mm -hmm. But if there was a fire, you'd be very happy that, that the right. water's at least running. Right. So that's um, a good point. So it's it's real. It's actually very fascinating to learn what's under the streets in the city. No one thinks about it. Nobody thinks Nobody about thinks it. Nobody thinks about it. You're, yeah. Everything's under the uh, on Putnam Avenue. It's the cable. Everything's. It's all submerged. Yeah. Electrical. Yeah. Everything. Well, I mean, yeah. I think when we did our last show, people were being raising hell about um, putting in electrical. Transformer uh, station. Oh, the substation. Off, whether that was near Benny uh, Street. Right. That's you know right. what I want to say? Well, you know, yeah. yeah the, I think you can have a good argument there. But the thing is, yeah. is that you know, are people aware that there are actually high voltage lines mm. running under the streets of Cambridge, where the high voltage line to dissipate the heat, it's actually running. They're running yeah. oil, right? Oh my Mineral goodness. oil. Jeez. And that, and then that's that's being pumped through there, and then they take it, and it's warmed, and then they basically so use like a refrigerator a and are you saying that that's the similar off. to the substation and what maybe no what i'm just saying oh. is is that if people are concerned about right. proximity to major to, electrical infrastructure well guess what folks it's running right under the right. streets but i think they're 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 
concern is that it's somehow connected to some kind of radiation. I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, but, but the electromagnetic fields are the fields. Electromagnetic fields. And they're, they're going to exist saying, regardless. Yeah. So, but anyway, I just, I just think it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I remember this is a sort of a funny off topic, but some years ago when we, Cambridge had declared itself like a nuclear free zone. Oh right? my goodness, yes. I remember there was a fellow, this guy Rick I knew, who was worked for uh, what was then, N, uh, not NSTAR, it was, um, it was Cambridge Electric Light Company back right, then, yes. and he said just because of the place Cambridge wa ex uh, occupied in the grid, yeah, that you could actually do a calculation to determine what the source of your power was for the most part at any given time, hmm. and from almost all times of the day, fi at the time, 53 percent of the power in Cambridge came from nuclear energy. Wait, that was back then? That was back then. So the thing is, is that the grid changes, they've been putting a, a wow. lot of natural gas uh, fired yeah. um, uh, you know, power stations online. So it's, it changes, it's never fixed. Probably are, it was a cleaner environment, I hate to say but, it. But they're bringing in, um, uh, they bring in high, you know, uh, transmission lines uh, from other places. So it's not a static thing, and no. I think to some degree, I don't know to what degree, when people sign on to various sort of green energy... I did, you know, I just source. signed on to the 100%, but they're not going to get anything from me now. <laughs> right, yeah, really. <laughs> but um, yeah, when yeah. you do that, I, I don't know that when you say, I'm paying for, like, all solar or I'm paying for wind power well, or whatever, you're just still taking it off the grid. So it's more of an accounting mechanism. Yeah, I well, think. I think you're trying to get your energy as much as they can from... I think what you're doing things. is you're directing investment towards certain uh, uh, that future infrastructure okay, yeah. I mean, when you do that. But the thing is, is it's not like, like well, they say, well, you know, Judy signed up for the green one, so yeah. crank up another windmill. You know, no, <laughs> you know. Yeah, right. hey, can, you can shut down that plant, the, uh, the no, gas fire no, plant right. in it, Chelsea, it just, right? I mean, our reliance on, on electricity... It, which is only going to get is, greater. I mean, is, ...is actually, as I have, you know, looking at all my electronics, it is actually overwhelming to me. It is pretty You much, know that? Yeah. And the thing is, is, as people move away from, or at least ch desire to move away from fossil fuels, as long as you still need energy, I mean, great. You it's can still got super in, somewhere. I mean, super you insulate your house and use a yeah. minimum of energy. But the yeah. thing is, is that if right. you get rid of the fossil fuels, you definitely become even more reliant on electrical energy. And, 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 and not everybody can afford solar right now, even though there's all these rebates. You know, yeah, it's still, yeah. I mean, yeah. there's a lot we can yeah. do. So, anyway, back to the, the crazy to, street so, matter. You well, know, Mercer you say, Circle. Mercer yeah, Circle. But it happened, right. So the thing is, is that I, I don't know, I mean, we have the city solicitor up there pretty much explaining from a legal and point of view that there's right. really not a whole lot the city Well, they're still looking do. into some kind of sovereign versus, right. I don't know. Right. Well, the yeah. thing is, is that uh, the, the money basically follows the law and liability. Right. And from a legal point of view, the city isn't liable be simply because they have, in fact, done uh, best practices in maintaining their systems. It wasn't like they were negligent. No, they have a whole uh, but, replace, repair you know, uh, schedule, oh, yeah, right? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're way actually ahead of most municipalities, mm -hmm. in fact. So from a legal point of view, you can't really say Cambridge has been Right. Falling down on the job. Yeah. People get a little thrown by it because they say, well, how old was the pipe? Oh, it's about 120 yeah. something years old. Yeah. And, and, and they think, oh, that's a ter actually in this case, it was more like 150. Really? I think actually at the city council meeting, um, I don't know if it was um, Sam Quarter from the Water Department, it may have been. No, actually, it was Nancy Glow, the city solicitor, pointed out that in fact, those this inch and a quarter thick. Um, uh, water main pipe, the steel pipe, which is not what they put in now. They put in something. Well, what does this cement lining thing mean? Well, that's what they did later. But okay. the thing is, is that the, 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 when they put that stuff in, it, it's in, it's put in with the understanding it could last and should last 200 years. Yeah, I had I never heard so. that. And I thought, yeah. well, that's great. Yeah. So, so we, we're about 150 years in and about 50, 60 years ago, what they do to prevent corrosion is they do cement lining within the pipe. Right. right. So this way, the water, the whatever, the water uh, yeah. and and other any chemistry within the pipe is not interacting with the, with the conduit so much okay. anymore, right? But the thing is, is that as uh, Sam Corda pointed out, he's the managing director right. of the water department. He was spoke to. Yeah. 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 So when they do replacements now, they use like a ductile steel, which has a little bit of flexibility, but the old cast iron pipes are magnificent. Yeah. But they they can crack. Yeah. Because it's it's cast iron, and you can, and when they if so if they fail they can really fail, right? 
Whereas if it's just ductile steel, you know, it can just bend a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, and give, have a little more give. So anyway, these are things you can learn by going up to City Hall or at least turning on the TV. So was there any way to have stopped the water from getting that far or was it just so quick? You know, that they it were, went... it was just, there's just so much volume yeah. and I think they actually, you know, sometimes it's not as easy as you might think to find the valves to even shut things off, especially if it's a main line. Mm -hmm. So there may be some time to shut it off and then you have to get into the ground. And it, yeah, and it's still pressurized. So even if you get the valves off, you can still have water coming out for a good while. But next question, do they have any computerized stuff on all these things they can see from a from a desk? You know, I don't know how much they can have, like pressure sensors and whatever for these things. Okay. There. That I, I I'm somehow sure they must have some kind of computerized. They, they must have that they some can keep a watch on the system. I think with each passing year, I'm yeah. sure they're trying to implement whatever yeah. is the best available technology. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what kind of technology is there, and I, I imagine it would be a great thing if you if you could detect a sudden pressure drop, um, yeah. right away. But the thing is, I don't know that they have. Or a way of Billy remotely that, shutting the valves. No, no, I, well, well I was going to think remotely, but at least they know we have trouble yeah, here yeah. and to send a crew out. Of course, yeah, yeah. Sometimes the fastest way is somebody calls. Well, yeah, you know, hey. And, and, and they're there, in a, there. You know, yeah. in a split second. But the thing oh. is, so, but the, you know, even in a short period of time, 15 minutes can cause tremendous you know, damage. No, I, it just, uh, after this thing happened to me, I mean, I just hear, you know, natural gas, the gas explosions in Lawrence, it's just, we are so dependent on energy and I know I would love to live with all solar and windmills and all that but until we get there yeah we're gonna just have to deal with all this you yeah know, and yeah figure out a safe actually way to do if it. you if you think about it when yeah. I look at when you know when you're putting in a new boiler or whatever every new system actually mm -hmm. is a lot more complicated than the old systems right and they, they don't they right. may be better they in, might be more efficient but but there's also do. more things to break and, yeah I'll have a story and, about my hard drive and my laptop I can tell you <laughs> yeah. just to that point right Okay. You know, so the thing is, we're 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 heading into an even more complicated world with every passing week. Oh, year. but and and but hopefully and, a better one. Well, know? I don't know. If you didn't listen to NPR this morning about the uh, the warming of the, it, it was really dismal. Forget it. I think I might be a hundred when all this happens, <laughs> if I'm around. <laughs> I, I, anyway, we'll be back in a few okay. minutes on Cambridge yeah. Inside Out.